here with the uh, Thames River Anglers today, Upper Thames River Conservation Authority staff, a fabulous landowner who's letting us use his property and uh, some volunteers. Um, what we're doing today is we're taking brook trout eggs to enhance the population of brook trout in the Upper Thames River uh, watershed. Um, brook trout's one of our uh, only native salmonids for the Upper Thames River and um, it only lives in clean, cold, uh, clear uh, of streams. So we release them back into our cold water streams. Uh, some of the streams we've worked with other fabulous landowners to rehabilitate um, that can then support brook trout population. My dad fished here when uh, when he was a kid and then uh, then they let the livestock into the, into the creeks and the fish was habitat was just completely washed out or gone and now it's all came back, you know, it's, it's just basically what it is and it's it's nice to see that that's actually came back to the forefront again and and that's all they talked about years ago was how good the fish were in here, you know, and it's nice to see that come back. It's been part of the Upper Thames Conservation for, for quite a few years now, I don't know how many years it is. We've been planting trees along streams and and uh, trying to <clears throat> cool our streams down and in the last few years we've been uh, uh, putting a brook trout into the to the streams and uh, we're here today to be fairly successful as far as the size and and uh, stripping them for eggs to um, put them in other streams. What are you looking for for spawning habitat? Um, a lot of times it's shallow riffles or uh, where there's groundwater activity, upwellings or springs and a lot of times the trout will spawn right in those upwellings. Amazing, I never would have believed there were that many fish in there yet a drainage ditch like that. It's uh, more fish than I've caught all summer long, <laughs> fishing. <laughs> I use a backpack electrofisher that I carry on my back and it's got an anode out front. The cathode drags behind me. Uh, it sends 200 volts in, in, uh, in uh, waves that, that go out like this and it forces uh, the fish to swim between the waves right up the anode. And then they go belly up just for a second because they're stunned. And my netter nets them up, puts them in the bucket. And carry on.